All right, so we got a project here that I thought I made a video on, but I must have uh, deleted it accidentally before I posted it on YouTube, so I have to create it again. So I'm going to be a little bit speedy going through this. So hopefully you can keep up here. We're gonna create a spoon. So I'm creating a new document naming it spoon. And we're just going to get started on the top plane with a sketch. I'm going to view normal to that sketch plane. So I'm going to right click, view normal to sketch plane, and then hide the planes by clicking the P key. I'm going to start with a construction line that's going to be eventually dimension, so it's vertical. And I'm going to dimension that to be 150. We're in millimeters here. So now I'm going to design my spoon by simply using a spline. And I've done this a few times, so I'll just do it quickly, and hopefully um, yours looks a little bit similar. It's probably going to look a little different. But I'm going to go to the spline tool, click on the top, and this is going to be the, the bowl, the, like the roundy shape of the spoon here. going to click to place a few spots here maybe one spot there and then when I get to the end point there I'm going to press escape to accept the spline now I can go back and escape out of the tool and reposition any of these if I need to try to make it more like a traditional looking spoon here Maybe something like that. And one important thing is that this does not extend past the horizontal line here. So that would cause some problems. So you want it to be inside or at least lined up horizontally with that line. I'm just going to nudge it that way just to make sure. All right, so we have our basic outline, but only half. So we need to mirror this on the other side. So here's the mirror tool. Choose the center line as the, and then select the entities to be mirrored, which would be this half. Now I have two halves. Now if I want to, I'll escape out of the tool. And then I can, now that I see both halves together, I could reposition a few things here. And let me maybe just narrow this down a little bit. I don't know why that affects this up here. That's going too weird. Let's go back. So that's good enough for now. All right, so we have our top view. Just as we did with the fork project, now we're going to generate a side view, actually two side views. So if you think about a spoon, there's a little bit of complexity there because, well, we'll let's just start a sketch and we'll get into that. So let's start a sketch. And I want something that is use it like this. So I'm going to use the right plane. So I'll click on the right plane. That's now my drawing plane. And I want to view normal to that and maybe rotate it back so it's horizontal here. And then I'm going to start a spline and I want to orbit just a little bit so I can see this point and I want my starting point to snap to that. What I'm going to do now is model the spoon bowl and handle. So I imagine this would travel down here and then maybe go up, or let's just do a couple clicks here. And then go maybe up through the middle, 
past the middle point. Let me go ahead and view normal to sketch here. And then click here maybe and then finish up over here. So I'll escape out of that tool so I can adjust some of these things. So what I'm modeling right now is the bowl depth and then kind of the curvature of the handle. So I want to adjust this a little bit, maybe. So when you're looking at, at the side of a spoon, there's that, but there's also an edge here for wherever the top, you know, of the edge of the spoon bowl would be. So we need to model that as well. That's going to be a separate line. So I'm going to click that. And now I'm going to model kind of what I would see as the top outline of the spoon. I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch on the same, on the right plane. And let me go ahead and use a spline here. Reference that same starting point. And then this one, the bowl is going to be pretty flat. So I'm just going to go pretty much straight across. So at about right here. And then I'm going to actually pull this up a little bit by clicking there. And then there. And then ending up back over here. All right, so these two things here, the line I just created, actually the, the first, this line here with the bowl in it, and this line here, the outline of the spoon, I'm going to use both of those to create a reference line that's going to curve in this shape but be the outline of the top view. So this is going to make sense in just a minute. So I'm going to leave this the way, the way, the way it is. I'm not sure how this is going to end up because I did this a little bit quickly. But I'm just going to go ahead and click the check mark. And the two that I want to reference are the outline shape and the bottom bowl shape. I'm going to try to put those two together. Actually, that's not right. I want to do this line here. This is the straight line with the handle. Let's see how that works. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to cause an intersection of two surfaces. I'm going to represent that by creating a couple of surfaces. You don't have to do this part. I'm just going to visualize it. So I'm going to use these two objects here. I'll extrude them in both ways. Symmetric. And then make sure it extends far enough. You do like 30 millimeters. All right. So I have that. And then I'm going to go ahead and extrude another surface. Let's do choose a surface so I can choose this line here and let's do sketch 3 and then I'm going to go ahead and do that symmetric as well and then make sure it goes all the way through all right so here I have an outline of kind of what the base of the spoon would be so the base of the handle and the base of where the top part of the bowl of the spoon would be. So that's what this surface represents. And then I have the outline of the spoon. So if the outline of the spoon was in a shape like this, I would have an outline that I could use to create the top surface. So there's a tool that actually will help me in getting that shape, that exact shape. 
So I'm going to just hide my surfaces. That's just a visual representation of what we're going to try to do in the next step. All right, so I have surfaces. Let me hide those. Let me reveal these sketches real quick. So I want to reference the outside and the one that's doing the top of the bowl and then the handle shape. I'm going to use a special tool that's going to combine those two together. I'm trying to find it here. So it should be wherever the plane tool is. Sometimes it's where the helix tool is. I have a large group of tools that are here. But you're looking for this projected curve tool. I'm going to select the outline of the first sketch, which is the outline top view of the spoon. Then we're going to select the second sketch option and then choose that top outline of the spoon. You should automatically get that projected curve. Let me go ahead and turn off the other sketches so you can see it. So you see that projected curve there? It's the outline of the spoon but curved in the shape of that flat part of the spoon. So you got the handle and the flat part of the spoon. So we just need to now dip the, the bowl. So I'm going to accept that. I have an outline that I'm going to now patch to create a surface. So that's another tool in the same menu. We're going to use the fill option. We'll fill any boundary with the surface. So we have an enclosed boundary. I'm going to click on that and then click the check mark. Now I have a surface for my spoon, but there's no dip for the bowl. So now what I want to do is we're going to select that surface again, double click. Oh, actually, where here's a, the fill. And we want to use a guide. I'm going to use a vertice. I'm going to choose the sketch that we created the bowl on. So I need to reveal that. Click on that line. It should generate some geometry there. It's pulling the bowl down. So it's trying to follow the, the course of that spline. So there we have a spoon. This is just a surface now. This would not print because it's not a solid. So the last step we want to do is thicken this spoon. So we'll click the check mark. Let's have this weird shaped spoon here. And I want to thicken this. So that's um, up here, this option here. Thicken. I'm going to choose the face here that you just created. Now if you get a red that you can't do it, first thing you want to try is reversing the direction. So it's going to work there, but it's really thick. So I'm going to reduce that to about, uh, let's say, two millimeters. So maybe more like 1.5. There we go. So I'm adding, I'm creating an actual new part. So this is going to be a solid. Click the check mark. So that's my actual spoon. I can hide the surface and see the result. So here I have a spoon. All right, so that's the basic point of this lesson. If you have any difficulties, just let me know. I'd be glad to help.